um, marriage is a creation of God. The sexes are a creation of God. And it's the, a very wonderful creation of God that we have sexes. Imagine if everyone in the world is male. What happened is you notice if you are with males for a while, you notice that males don't talk about feelings that much. They don't respond to people's needs that much. And they don't care about little details much. If everyone in the world are men, what happened is when it, I mean, if I'm, we don't talk about what happened, but if men can have children, they won't be able to take good care of the children. And they won't be able to care about them much. Now, but if everyone in the world are women, what happened is, for women, there's always a, a need of relationship, care. That's how God created women. Women have much care. Without women, this world will have very little care. But men, it's hard to care about details. But with, with women, there is a different problem. Because women are, uh, they look for love, they look for care. So if you notice, if there is a workplace that they are mostly women, you find there could be personal competition for favor or for care if someone like a boss, you know, if, like if the boss, you know, there are a number of women walk, working for him, and then if he pay attention to some women, the other women will be jealous. That there will be a lot of jealousy, a lot of competition, uh, and the feelings, the emotions can affect. Now, then people say, well, why did God create men and women? You know, when God first created men and women, it's all perfect. First, we understand why God created men and different, and women different. Is men have interest in work, in projects, in activities. Without men, many of this uh, building and all the invention were not. Most of them were invented and made by men. So the men, men has this advantage, this strength of building projects, uh, doing something. And then women, the strength is relationship, care. So most people remember the mother, care for them. For the father, there's care, but there's a distance. <coughs> most people, they remember the mother caring about them. Without women, the world would be very cold. So God created women differently, but after men sin, what happened is the problems come up. Because after men sin, then men do not, uh, the, uh, the male would have problem listening and understanding. Now before the fall, men would be able to understand feelings and be, able, be willing to share and communicate. But after the fall, most men find it difficult to talk about their feelings and to care and to listen. And then women would have a tendency to compete for love because women want love and care. So in a workplace with women only, they always look for, you know, why does the boss only, you know, use this woman and I'm doing something, why did he tell someone else to do my work? You know, that kind of jealousy and competition would be... Now, it happens among men too, but uh, for women, there's, uh, I think generally, there's, uh, because they look for more care and attention. So, for women, there can be more emotions and uh, 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 they look for attention. And also, now women has a strength, a big strength is responsibility. Uh, you notice that in a family, the women remember when there's no food, mostly. The men don't know. They don't know. Sometimes they don't even know which, what the children are studying. You know, what are they going through. But the mother will always remember. The mother has a strong sense of responsibility. She would know what's happening to each child. So her sense of responsibility 
after the fall has a problem. What is the problem? She's over responsible. Whenever she sees the husband has some problem, uh, she would be unhappy. She wants everything in order. <coughs> now it should be, but then the man after the fall lose the sense of respons responsibility. And so what happened is then the um, you know that the wife would be too controlling. And they want everything well done, and so they get unhappy easily. So we notice in most marriages, it's the woman who is who's find all kinds of problems. You know, when, when a couple comes to me and I ask them, how is the marriage? The man said, okay, fine, very good. And then the woman said, no, all kinds of problems. He doesn't listen to me, he doesn't help, he doesn't do this, he doesn't do that. For the man, we're eating every day, we have income, we have work, the children go to school, everything is okay. You know, they don't see anything wrong because they're not too responsible. They don't pay attention. But the, the women are over-responsible. So whenever they see anything wrong, the women will get unhappy easily. And also have the tendency of being controlling. That, uh, for instance, many children find that if they ask the father, can I go for the picnic, the father says yes, but then if the mother says no, it's no use. If the father says no, and yes, he has to ask the mother. <laughs> So next time you might ask the mother instead of asking the father. Because when the mother says okay, then the father will be okay. I mean, it does, it's not true for every family, but generally there could be such a tendency that because women are very responsible, that could create problems because the men feel control. And men need space. Men need, when, when, a, man, when a man has problem, he likes to hide. He likes to think about it. He likes to face it alone. That, you know, if the man here would agree, if you feel unhappy, you don't want to tell your wife first. You just want to go out and take a walk and have a sleep and think through it and then handle it. And after you handle it, you say, well, it's not necessary to tell the wife. Don't tell her that. So most of the things we might not want to tell the wife. But for the woman, it's different. When they face any problem, they want to talk. The husband come home, oh, 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 all this happened, oh, I work on it, all these people, children, all this problem, all this problem. And the man said, oh, oh, it's not a big thing, no big thing, no big thing. And then the man has a tendency to teach. So because of these differences, and then when a woman talks to the man, the man doesn't respond that much. So some women say, when I talk to my husband, it's like talking to the wall. <laughs> so he doesn't respond. And his response may not be what, what I want. <coughs> so what happened is, because of this sexual difference, many people, when they get married, they don't understand. They don't understand. They don't understand because when men chase after women, they would, to them, it's a project. Now, me, women, because they look, they, they see relationship as the most important. So when women, have a date, she's looking for relationship, she's looking for care and love. When man has a relationship, she's looking for, it's a project, I want to have a girlfriend so I have fun, and then I have a wife so I have a family. It's a project. He doesn't think of, I'm going to care for her, but when he's chased after her, she, he'll care for her. When a, when a guy chased after a girl, he would do everything to make her happy, but it's a project. It, he will give flowers to make her happy. She feels happy. I achieve something. You will notice that girls, when once they love a guy, it's very hard to let go because they already put the, all the feeling onto the person. For a guy, it's still difficult, but if there's another girl that comes in, it's easier for him to, to, to switch. Uh, because if another woman comes and is very nice to him, it's good enough. But for a girl, it's generally when she put her feeling onto one person, it's, she expects 
She expects this person to care for her. She wants relationship. Now, as a pastor, when I greet people in my churches before, I notice that many young girls, baby girls, when the father, the parents carry the baby girl and walk by, the girls are very happy to see me, shake my hand. But the guys, the, 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 the parents hold them, and they come by, and then they're playing with the car. They're playing with something else. <laughs> they might not be looking at a pastor at all. That, because even from childhood, women, girls are made to have relationship. So they like to have friends. They like to you know, relate to other people. Now, of course, some people, some girls are shy, but still they, they look for, if they are feel comfortable, they look for the relationship. But guys, they look for activity. They want to do the cars and the things, the toys. So we understand this. That, and that is why when a couple get married, the wife expects the relationship to start to have caring, concern, listening. But the husband said, when my project is done, my wife is here, it's all settled. Every day I go home, I go to work, I bring money back, and I, the family is already good enough. That's, for many men, they didn't understand the woman's need. Now, when he's chasing after the girl, he wants to get the girl, so he would talk on the phone for long hours. But once he gets her, he would say, I mean, you know I'm yours. I won't run away, and I come home every day, so you don't have to worry. <laughs> And you don't, we don't have to talk so much. Why, why talk so much? Because when women have needs, have problems, have feelings, they always want to talk. Talking and being listened to is solving half of the problem already. Because she knows that someone cares. Then she will feel, I'm careful. That's already, that's already a big, big solution. When they're careful, women feel happy. But when men think of a problem, I have to fix it. I, I'm not, you know, you just listen to me, it's not going to help. I have to find a solution. But for women, because they pay attention to relationship, that's why, that's why they want acceptance and care. And for most women, marriage is very high in the relationship, in their life, in their life. Marriage is very high. For men, regular men, Regular man, marriage is much lower. The position is much lower. For men, it's achievement. I'm a, you know, I achieve a lot. Now, for Christian men, some Christian men have learned, yes, I need to have a good marriage, therefore my ministry can be good. <laughs> so then they would build on the relationship, build on the marriage, so that I would be a respected pastor with good family. But still inside the heart, that the desire to work on the marriage is not as strong as a woman. It's not as strong. Uh, unless he really says, my life is precious, I love God, so I, I should love my family, so I want to listen. For many pastors, to listen to the wife and then to spend time with her, could the, the, the man can think of it as a waste of one, a waste of time for many men. It's, it can be a waste, you know, they think, you don't have to talk so much, you don't have to spend so much time. So for me, there is adjustment. Because I have so much work to do. I, I want to write, I want to do mission work. And when my first wife passed away, I plan on not getting married. Because I want to concentrate on my ministry. I don't want to handle a woman's emotions. <laughs> I don't want to handle her needs. It takes too much time. <laughs> I want to concentrate in my ministry, just write and then minister and go to mission field and do different things. But God has a plan. God prepared for me, for this, this wife. But still I have a tendency to say, why spend so much time communicating? Now I enjoy communicating with my wife. But I think, you know, it's already enough. You know, we have talked a lot. I've talked with her more than most men. Our relationship is closer than most couples. We, every day we communicate, 
even when I'm here, I communicate with her maybe 20 times a day. You might say, I mean, it might be short. Some of them are short. But from time to time, I let her know what's happening and we communicate whenever there's, you know, today is the first time she preached. I will listen to her, what happened in the church, everything. And, and then we spend time together a lot. Now, at first I thought, this is using a lot of time. Now, first God did show me, God did show by special signs to let me know that she is the woman God has planned for me. I, I took 11 months to pray to God and ask for guidance whether she is, you know, I should get married and she's the person. And I took 11 months praying and after many signs and I know that she's the person that God has planned for me. But yet, I still did, was not prepared for so much time. But now I understand it really helps me in my ministry. Even though I spend time with her, it helps me greatly. If you listen to my message, you notice that I'm very personal. I talk about a lot of personal things. And when I listen to people, I, I, I listen much better than before. It's all because of my wife helping me. Of course, I've learned counseling myself. But I find that after I learn it, I still haven't learned it well. But when my wife reminds me, then I can learn much more. So my wife really make me more complete because me as a man, I see the project, my mission work, revive more people. That's the most important thing in my life. But when she comes in the scene, it helps me to see people's needs more. Well, my, my message will touch people's needs more. So for Christian men, devoted men, we can understand them. And then we have the motivation to build on the, the relationship. And, uh, but my natural instinct is still spend more time in ministry. That's my natural instinct. And I told my wife, even before I die, I will not be like you. <laughs> I still am a man. I still don't think as, because she will see everything as related to relationship. But for me, I don't. So I have to adjust. How to, be, how to have a he healthy marriage? The man has to adjust, the woman has to adjust. We have to understand the opposite sex. So when in your counseling, you can tell the couple about these differences. I'm, I'm going to tell you now in, in points form. And uh, in the future, when I, because this material is in Chinese only, uh, in the future, I'll, I have many material written in English, but then this one, I only have it. In, in Chinese. So first the point of view that male and female difference. For male, actually this video you will keep it too so you, you can see it later. Um, men's uh, point of view perspective, they see their position as very important, that being respected. Now, many women have a tendency to say he's useless, he cannot do anything. They would compare and say, well, look at that man. That man earns a lot of money. And my husband doesn't earn any money. And my husband is incapable. That really offends the man. It, it makes him you know, feel very unhappy. And he would turn away from the wife if the wife does that. So it's very important for us to understand. For the man, the most important thing is his position. His, being respected. For the woman, it's most important the relationship. For the man, it's a position. That's why men among themselves would always compete. Like when they were young, they would do arm wrestling. I don't know if you do that here in South America, South Africa. Do you do that arm wrestling? The boys like to prove that I'm stronger than you are. When they do any sport, they like to be better. So it's always, I want to be better. And, and men don't like to take orders. They don't want to be commanded. But yet, many wives like to, go do it, don't clear the garbage. It's best to say, if you do it, I'm very happy. Please do it. Then, basically, in marriage, if you want a happy marriage, you want to make the other person feel happy, respected, honored. If now, for many women and wives, uh, men and women, 
unknowingly because of the negative experiences each of them has a tendency sometimes to make the other person feel unhappy without knowing that the husband sees that the, the wife is always nagging he doesn't want to talk he doesn't want to care so it makes her unhappy and then the woman because the man doesn't respond has a tendency to despise to try to order it's it's subconscious subconsciously despising the other one actually I mean many people could be serving God joyfully in the church but at the home very often there can be negative feelings because the other person is not doing what they want so there's a natural tendency of the sinful nature to for the wife to <coughs> make the wife make the husband do something okay and then for women it's relationship and sharing mm -hmm.